Hello everyone, I have a little task for you to try. It's very simple. So basically you have three things that you can do. You start in a narrow stance, so feet are close together. And you can descend into a squat and sit on, on your heels you can get up from the squat always by having this kind of wave um, so you start leading the movement with the knees forward and then comes the hips the sternum and the head and once you arrive on your vertical axis you start playing with waves the other way from the head to the feet so it will be you will lead the wave the second wave with uh, this way it's head then thorax then pelvis then it goes down until the knees so we have squat getting up from squat into a wave and then going from knees, hips, sternum, head, wave, into the opposite. Um, all right, so what you have to do is to play with these three elements. And once you start to understand how you can play with them or to understand the motions better, you start playing a little bit with the speed. So sometimes you try to slow down the movement maybe for just for for a portion of the movement so you don't slide uh, slow down the the whole movement but let's say just until the middle uh, let's say it would be knees hips sternum head so you go knees hips slow and then you put more speed into the movement and a little bit of accent and you go sternum head and also you can slow down knees hip sternum and then just the head will arrive a little bit faster the same you can do with the um, the opposite waves uh, so you can slow down portions of the movement and then speed them up or you can slow it down all the movement and then speed up the next one so you find this these variations um, that you can create just by playing with the speed and the same three movements. When you go into the squat, you can go through waves. So you have these waves leading with the head, which can be deeper as you see right now, or they can be sm smaller like this. And you can find ways to descend into the squat um, through the wave or you can just drop into the squat. You will see an example at some point, I think at the end of the video, where I'm just dropping from my vertical axis. I drop into the squat, but all, all the time when I raise up, I raise up through a wave. One thing that you have to think about is to give yourself some pauses. So sometimes after you do a movement, you stop for a while and then you go into the other one, but also you can go right away. And then when you get even more comfortable, start from time to time to release maybe one, one leg. And the idea is to find the connection between the spine and the leg. So you have some kind of continuity in this motion, even if you um, lose the contact with the ground with one leg. When you step back, try to back on the ground, try to melt or, or drop right away into the squat. Um, all right, so that's it. Uh, watch the video a couple of times maybe so you have the information more accessible and yeah have fun